Here's the Boyd. He's 20.92, so 21 pounds. Big jiggly. In case you're not doing this at home, I have gone, according to the book, and actually tied this up using the, um, the same ties that I would normally use for a chicken like this that already has the knot in it, as you can see, right there. But what I did is I actually just clipped it off. I guess I could have untied it, but same shit. And wrapped it around the bird like that. Because the problem is that the, the string like this is perfect for a chicken if you double it over, which I only have one hand right now. Because my other one is full of turkey stuff. But if you double it over, it's just right for a chicken. But for a turkey, you can cut it wrap it around and then just tie it off like that like I did. So I did it in five strategic places. It's time to injectorate the bird. This is a 20 ml. Oh look at that take it. Holy shit. Shoot some in his legs. Uh, the whiff says that the bird got a hematoma over here. So maybe I didn't injectorate it right. But the nurse, he knows. I'd love to show you putting all the spices on, but it's just us two at the moment. There's no uh, Sharkly or anybody else to assist with the camerated. And I need to flip the bird while the nurse applies the dressing. And um, <laughs> because of that, I can't get a video, but I'll show you once we're done. Jiggly Turkly. It fit after 64 false starts and taking it out a thousand times and losing all the spices we put on. But he's in. And <laughs> see, Ron didn't make it look like that in the infomercial. Now, Ron, so this is about a 20 or a 24 pound turkey. Right. When are you going to show me how to get it in the machine? Well, we're going to hey. get one of these. Was someone talking about turkeys? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Here's my daughter, Shannon. Hi, Shannon. Hey, Dad. Hey, Jill. What do you, you got doing? there? I have over a 20-pound turkey. As a matter of fact, let's put it on the scale here. Uh-huh. And let's check it out. This is 21 and a quarter pounds. Right. For Even a petite little thing like me can handle <laughs> using the pro, as I call it. That's my daughter. That's it. Yay! Put it in the rest area. Push it back. You slide the window up. You follow all instructions, and you... Say it and it's as simple as that, folks. But anyways, uh, it's in. It's cooking. You see the spices and all that stuff and things like that. So we'll see. He always comes out good anyways. This is, uh, by the way, the, the pro model. The big, big, big jiggly one. Last year I didn't have this kind. Somebody who used to own this gave it to me and the whiff, and um, this way we can host even larger Matt's fat parties. But Matt is going away. Matt is moving to the only state that can hold him now because of how big he's gotten. So he's moving to Texas, and this is also going to be a going away party for him. But anyway, the turkey is on, and I think he's actually browning already. He's got a very slight, you know, he's been out in the sun a little while. Anyway, this is going to go for 2 hours and 45 minutes if it doesn't uh, catch fire by then, so otherwise we're good. Oh, how we doing? Coming together. They got to cook a bit more so they can cook down. And um, if uh, they don't want to cooperate, then um, I always have my little crock pot that I can put the salsa con queso in. So, uh, they're doing all right. Oh, Robert's here. Somewhere out there. Oh, there's Robert. Is it taller again? No. I think you did. Maybe you're just getting older. Maybe you're feeling hobbits. I think, no. <laughs> hobbits? <laughs> I feel short. I feel short, and she's the short stuff. Yeah, short. Turkey pieces, meat, 
And Robert brought over his sweet potatoes. No, it's love. Oh, right, yes. Meat. They have their, they have their picking. I have to so chop away at his wing a little so bit. Because even, see the smoke? It'll come around again. I chopped it off there, but I'm seeing it on both sides now. It's always fun. This is the big one. I got one that's three pounds smaller, and it's still a fucking nightmare. Whoa! People are starting to arrive. So anyway, here's the finished product. The salsa con queso. I shut the ice machines down because we got shit tons of ice. The shrooms. And the Mexican slop. So we'll see how that does. Gravy boat and warmer for everything. Good. And the um, tray for other stuff on the beer hard for now. Other ice machine full. I have to cut up some lemons and limons. And otherwise, we are ready to roll. Okay, uh, we're in the swing of everything. Sharky's gonna set up the fiend. <laughs> it's Liz kind. Hello. And it's Alex kind. And large jiggly mat. Oh my goodness. Hi, Robert. Hi. Always with the drinking kind. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Yay. Yeah, we had a problem. His, uh, he wanted to fly away, so it just wasn't happening. Yes, it was. The wings have a tendency to like expand as it cooks, and it was ribbing on the element as you saw earlier, and the smoke it. And I'm not gonna risk that shit again. So I just had to crack him off, you know. It's it, it's for the better. I mean, the bird is gonna cook more thoroughly anyway, and he is. Got 45 minutes to go. I mean, we are in good shape. Gobble, fucking gobble. Hi, I'm Lynn. Oh my God, you're here. Oh, Jesus Christ. We have like a thousand fucking people. And a thousand. Um, okay, watch out a second. Got all that squared away. I don't even know what's happening. Okay, nothing blew up, so that's good. That's working. That's where we got the neons on and the lights on the table for a change. This is working. All the picture frames are working. Everything is fucking working for a change. Shit. Amazing. And, uh, let's see, this is looking good. Oh, I guess nobody's been nipping at my shit yet, so that's good. Um, yeah.